Hello everyone, I'm Jack Fisher and welcome to my world. And when you're looking for special comic book gems, you can't be too petty. The world of comics is just so vast and diverse. You never know when you'll come across a book that just works in all the right ways and then some. You always have to be open to the possibility that a comic can become a true gem. That includes comics that seem like gimmicks at first. And I get it, gimmicks are, by definition, shallow sales tactics. They've always been part of the comic book market. And many are just novelties and that's all they try to be. They're rarely worth the price unless you find them in the quarter bin. But sometimes, a book that seems like a gimmick can really surpass expectations. Even if it seems bland and unoriginal, it can still be great. It just has to take the gimmick, run with it, and craft an engaging story around it. And that's exactly what Red Sonja Worlds Away does. Now, Red Sonja comics as a whole have a very colorful history, going all the way back to her days as a supporting character on Conan the Barbarian. Her fantasy world full of gods, monsters, and chainmail bikinis is rich with action and lore. And because of that, it's also ripe with plenty of gimmicks, including crossovers with Spider-Man and Witchblade. And a few of those gimmicks involve time travel, often to the modern era, where a beautiful bikini-clad warrior is bound to attract attention. And that's exactly the route that writer Amy Chu uses in Red Sanja Worlds Away. It doesn't break new ground, but it does put the she-devil with a sword in a crowded city full of monsters and traffic jams. That alone offers plenty of entertainment value. But the story ends up delivering so much more than that. What starts as a gimmick really blossoms into a well-crafted, well-developed story. It's not just about Red Sanja swinging her swords in the middle of New York City or riding a motorcycle in jean shorts. There is a meaningful, coherent plot here, and it brings out the best in the red-headed warrior. It starts with her longtime nemesis, Cool and Goth, as many of her battles often do. Time and again, Sanja beats Goth in their time, no matter how many monsters or wizards he throws at her. But this time, he changes the battlefield by taking her into the future. But there's another reason for this, and it has very little to do with seeing Sanja fight a garbage truck. Goth is trying to rouse an army of demons that have been hidden and kept asleep for centuries. He couldn't rouse them in his time, he has to take things to the 21st century to complete the process. And along the way, he gathers some help from some unwitting allies slash followers who don't encounter evil wizards outside World of Warcraft. He ends up having much more advantages than usual, and Sanja has to work around them, and adapt to the modern world at the same time. But don't be fooled, this is not a typical fish-out-of-water story. The plot doesn't entirely revolve around Red Sanja reacting to a world of cars, skyscrapers, and overpriced lattes. Yes, there are some moments where her barbarian tendencies clash with modern sensibilities. Between readily picking fights and having a very unusual dress sense, she earns more than her share of reactions. However, these moments never define or derail the story. They don't significantly change who Red Sanja is. Her personality is still as brash and brutal as ever. She never stops being the badass, sword-wielding she-devil that we all know and love. She just has to fit that persona into a different setting and time period. And make no mistake, this could have been a cheap gimmick, but Amy Chu never lets it get to that point. She keeps the story moving forward. She has Sanja make some new friends, uncover some dark secrets, and explore her new surroundings. It's not all bloody, sword-wielding action, but it's not all time-traveling shenanigans either. Red Sanja Worlds Away strikes just the right balance. It also finds a way to set itself apart from Sanja's many other battles. There are so many other comics that have her exploring exotic fantasy worlds, and seeing her explore our world, even if it's as simple as a truck stop diner, feels like a genuine extension of that. She doesn't always go out looking for a fight. Being the she-devil with a sword, the fight often comes to her. And that doesn't change in the 21st century. And Cool and Goth makes sure she has plenty of targets. But what really helps this book become a true gem is how it has Sanja make new connections. While her sword is usually her best companion, Sanja makes a few new friends in the 21st century. They include a few cops and a history buff with a secret. I won't spoil the secret, but I will say that her dynamic with her cast is delightfully fun. On one hand, they're often taken aback by her barbarian persona. On the other, they grow to appreciate her bravado and spirit. 
Red Sandra rarely sets out to make friends, and she certainly doesn't endear herself to her new allies at first. But over the course of the story, they form a real bond. They share some real melodrama, and when Kulin Goth sets them up for a final showdown, the stakes feel personal. Red Sanja, worlds away, may not break new ground for the character, but it highlights Sanja's greatest strengths. Even when she's determined and hot-headed, she'll still make personal connections when she has to. And she never lets chaotic circumstances change who she is at heart. The modern world can corrupt many wayward souls with its traffic jams, internet trolls, and media scandals. Few time-traveling characters can escape its influence unscathed. But Ren Sanja proves in Worlds Away that she's among those elite few. No matter the time or setting, she's still a badass warrior in a chainmail bikini. She'll still fight monsters, demons, wizards, and demigods until her last breath. And no amount of overpriced lattes will ever change that. Red Sanja as a character is a gem in her own right, but she signs just a little bit more in Worlds Away. And if you're interested in seeing just how she shines, check the book out for yourself. I've left a link to Comixology and Amazon in the description. Thanks for watching everyone, and thanks for joining me in my world. Please stay tuned for more of my comic book gems, and until next time, please like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, and stay safe.